So in terms of the mod itself, we're coming up to a massive update, aren't we? 0.5. Um, do you want to just go through what that new update's bringing uh, and why it's so significant for you guys? So, <clears throat> yeah, the update is bringing... I guess it's almost like a new... It's like a fresh start for us. Um, we had 0, 0, 010 to 040 for the past year and a half and it was basically just kind of throwing everything we could as fast as we could into uh the mod so people could play it and uh feral at the time was working on the uh rome remastered and now that they've pretty much finished we kind of decided like hey like now's our time to actually like do what we really want to do and so that's where we came up with um ras uh 050 it took a long time to make but it's a brand new map huge map and uh we believe that that, that will serve as the base of future versions um and then we began our work on redoing all the units so instead of using the older uh units from rs2 we now use uh, the brand new RAS mo uh, Rome Remastered models, starting with the Hellenistic units. So that's kind of like what 050 is going to bring. It's um, it's pretty much like the rebirth of us now that we yeah. have everything at our disposal. So it's kind of like think about it, like the first actual version of RAS. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It's uh, it certainly is massive. Is it? Am I right in saying that it's the largest total war map ever made, uh, bigger than Warhammer Three? Um, is that right? I don't know how big Warhammer Three is. I've heard it's pretty gigantic after that last update. Yeah. Um, I honestly I don't pay attention to Warhammer at all. Yeah, neither do so I. I wouldn't know. <laughs> as far as historical total war, um, I would say yes. It's the biggest. I know it's one hundred percent the biggest. Uh, for Rome Remastered, Medieval 2, or Rome Total War. So, um, and that was our goal. We wanted to be the biggest, and uh, we're very fortunate and lucky that we were able to actually make it, because that was a risk when we yeah. decided to do it, because we didn't know if it was going to work. Yeah, cool. I mean, it's, what's it, over 900? What, what's the exact amount of settlements? It's over 900, right? It is over 900, um, which is we're not even finished with that yeah uh and uh it's crazy because we did not expect it to get that far i think when we uh when we first set out doing the new map we had 230 regions in um the old map like the mundus magnus map that we we're using and we were kind of like okay well like you know we'll just add like 200 yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, it kept going and um the research was in it's crazy and they're just especially it like italy and greece and asia minor uh you know the levant egypt yeah there's so many cities and it's like how can we not add, if we're gonna add this how how are we leaving this out and if we're gonna add that one this one needs to be added. and so it just kept going <laughs> and then uh you get to the tribal tribal areas like Gaul and Germania, and it's like, well, we're it's more of like a tribal thing, so it's kind of like, well, we're gonna have that tribe. It needs to be, we need to have this tribe, and yeah. it's like, you know, basically, it just becomes like we don't want to leave anything out that otherwise would be important, and so it was, it became a, became more like, okay, is this worth leaving out, or do we need it in as well? And it just kept going, and we're not done yet, so the regions are not finished yet. Um, That'll be for the next release when those are finished. So that it, who knows where where, <laughs> where we'll end up. Yeah, well, I mean, it is massive, and I have played on uh, some of the pre-release versions, and it it is it is a big map, but there's just so much detail in it as well. It's fantastic to see. Um, so in terms of the map, then, have you managed to play much on it? All your beta testers, how how are they finding it at the minute? Uh, testing on the on the massive map. Um. Not not any issues, which is yeah, really cool. crazy because when we did it, I was like, okay, we're going to get a ton of <laughs> issues. We're going to get a ton of complaints about Siege Fest and uh, this or that. No, it's actually been um, the issues that we've gotten are basically basic Rome Total War modding issues, um, like bugs and glitches that we can fix. Um, 
there's not been a lot of complaints there hasn't been a lot of concern um been a lot of enjoyment it's been yeah. a lot of wow like i've really had a lot of fun time playing in this specific area for 50 to 70 turns whereas like mostly you're in most mods you're kind of like oh well i'm already got half the map conquered it's yeah. like oh i finally can get out of my area like it's it's much more deep and immersive and it's like um you definitely get more of a regional focus um so where you where you play it's kind of like okay well if you're going to play the greek faction you're going to be playing in greece for a long time yeah and we consider that a very good thing um, at the end of the day yeah so it's more would you say it's more about regional conquests and conquering your region rather than you know I mean, if you, if you could do a world conquest on it, like, good luck to whoever can do that. But uh, you're more about conquering your own region versus, you know, sort of um, enemies that have common interests rather than uh, going out far and wide and uh, spreading your tendrils everywhere. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And then I have, uh, I do have the, the mod uh, ready to go to show, but I'm running into some, uh... oh, what's it called? the um basically it doesn't fit to the monitor the way it should i forget what oh it's that's called, but, uh, yeah that's all right so i'm trying to work through that as soon as i can get that looking good yeah um, cool i will it's we just it's the latest dev update so something yeah. changed to where it, it it's too big and i would hate to show <laughs> <laughs> yeah fair enough uh yeah it's cool that figured out, i'll, I'll uh, show you some cool stuff Awesome. Right then. Um, so we're talking about the new map. Let's carry on talking a little bit about the new new map. In terms of the uh, the requirements PC wise, do you have like a sort of a basic requirement and how have the beta testers found the turn times and stuff? Obviously, you've got a load of new factions as well and it's, it's a lot bigger. So have the turn times been influenced much? I, from my own testing, honestly, I, I didn't really notice a difference, um, but I have a relatively powerful PC. So I what what are the beta testers finding uh, with those turn times and with the uh, the new map? Okay, so um, yeah, if you have an older computer or if you have a computer that's not like let's say you got a computer for school and it's like a laptop and yeah, maybe it was like a five hundred dollar computer and you you have like basically the Intel Core graphics. Um, RES is going to be tough on you because it's a very heavy game or a heavy mod it's about it's going to be about 40 gigabytes yeah um so you're going to have to definitely allocate a lot of space on your hard drive for it i actually recommend um clearing clearing everything off of your ssd and like all your other if you have games on your ssd clearing it off your ssd and then having it put on your ssd just because it's going to really help your load time just as far mm -hmm. as loading into the game and loading into the campaign and battles um but you can still play just fine on an HDD or an external drive. It yeah. just takes a tad longer. Um, but as far as like the game itself is concerned, um, you can run it at very low settings. I think one of our core team members doesn't have the best computer, and um, he's able to do everything. He just works on like lower settings, and yeah. it still looks pretty darn good. Um, as far as interns are concerned, it is not based on your computer. Yeah, it's based on what we do. So yeah. um, when we haven't been careful, uh, it's basically, I mean, to get into the nuts and bolts of things, uh, the rebel faction, yeah, it, it, it controls so much of the map currently. Mm. So when we give it way too much money, it takes super long yeah. and it hangs at the end of the intern. We actually just had that happen accidentally last week during Terminators. Uh, live stream so i'm like watching it i'm like oh my god like, <laughs> like so i had to like go i was like furiously going into the code like what did we do <laughs> hmm. um and we fixed it immediately and so pretty much like we are going to do everything to make sure that interns are uh manageable and good yeah. but um from what we heard from feral is the more regions and like the more factions you have the longer the interns are so mm -hmm. we were very nervous when we had like 700 regions at the time. We we're like, oh my God, this is going to, is this going to work? And uh, we kind of just messed around and we found out that it was just like the rebels and the amount of money, uh, which impacts their decision making. And the longer time they have to make decisions, the longer yeah. their turns take. And so we pretty much made it so they can make decisions without taking forever to make decisions. Cool. And um, 
the intern times have been really good. We have not had any complaints from the beta testers. As soon as that one glitch was pushed to beta testing, um, we got blown up about it. Yeah. So they've been really good about noticing when things are off. Um, but I'd say for like 95% of this beta test um, period, it's been really great. And so anybody that's out there worrying about intern times, uh, it's not a worry at all. We will, it'll be, uh, when it's released Friday morning, uh, there won't be any intern issues. So yeah. that's a really good thing. And I, and I can genuinely say that from the, the plane that I've played, it doesn't really, doesn't, I've not noticed anything. I've pressed the end turn and it's over just as quick as the normal vanilla map is. So yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Um, so I can stream now, by the way. So okay, cool. That. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's jump onto this onto the stream you've actually pointed out something that i should be doing as well <laughs> um uh, moving it across to my ssd because it's currently on my hard drive <laughs> so yeah, i mean i recommend it it's not necessary yeah it's not like oh if you don't do this it's gonna suck it's just hey like if you want an optimal uh experience uh that's what i would recommend um but we've had multiple people come on and they'll kind of put like jokingly like well i had to uninstall this this and that i had to move this to there and just to play them <laughs> on like, i think that's going to be the norm going forward yeah. until either us or feral or somebody figures out a solution on how to maybe get the uh, content to be smaller mm. uh, but when you have so many things it's it, it's hard to be small yeah to, to be honest like um if people have played old older total wars and played old mods that like like the Darth Mod series was always like thirty gigabytes. But I've played Darth Mod from Rome one to be honest um, to Napoleon, and they're always about thirty gigabytes. They're always they're always large mods. So um, it's I think a lot of players that are coming to this will 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 have experienced the the size of files that uh, that the RTR is going to uh, the RAS is going to be. Um, but let's carry on with the sort of sort of new features linked to the map so have you got any custom settlements in this uh on this new map already or is that something that's coming in the uh future yes we do we have a lot um okay. actually um, Wh which ones <laughs> oh, and that's the thing so roma Serectum, uh they had a third version called rs3 it was kind of like their final version it was pretty much worked on by dvk the lead dev mm -hmm. Um, I think the rest of the dev team had pretty much uh, went on to other things. So he kind of did it on his own, but he made custom settlements for a lot of the big settlements or the well-known. And then he also made like uh, cultural settlements. Uh, so we've got that, those in, um, I guess I'll, I'll, let's see how Rome looks Yeah. real quick. Um, explore settlement. Okay. So I think Rome has its own plan or Roman settlements have their own plan. Um, I think as the player, you'll still run into your basic vanilla yeah. Rome Total War style settlements, but uh, all the buildings have been changed. So yeah. you get a ton of new buildings and um, it's not the same as vanilla Total War where it's like, oh, if I build a barracks, a barracks appears in the settlement. It's kind okay. of, uh, that's all been done away with because for it to work, it was just, it's just too complex it's a very complex modding thing that only a few people really know how to do right and so what dvk did back in the day is he just removed all of that and just mm. said hey here's the custom settlement plan it's really cool you're not going to be able to change it much to yeah how you play but it's better than having the boring bland uh mm. look as before so this look right here this is all custom okay cool for the most part um the buildings so quick note on that saying that so it doesn't change with the different sort of um the different buildings you build but does it change based on the level of the city as well or will it always just uh, be the same uh, that's a good question i think so but i think there's some settlement plans that are just gonna I'm kind of be what they are yeah uh, i'm assuming the like, walls will change is that the that's probably the only building then really that will the change. Will change yeah as far as the gameplay that's pretty much the only thing that really, I guess, kind of matters. Yeah. Um, the one thing that we're not finished yet with, and I think it's not necessarily us in this regard, it's just 
from Roma's Rectum 3, the pathfinding. So the pathfinding, yeah. people make a big deal about pathfinding, um, and rightly so. It's a very huge thing when it comes to siege battles. The pathfinding is always going to be vanilla. The settlement mm. plans are not vanilla, though. And yeah. so it's up to us to, I guess, manipulate pathfinding to the new settlement plans, or vice versa, however you want to look at it. And we're not, we're, that's going to be a work in progress until however long it's going to take. And so certain settlement plans are going to be wonderful. Certain settlement plans might have a glitch here and there. And certain settlement plans we may need to be reported on and we need to go in and fix it for a patch yeah. for the next release. And so it's just one of those things where it's like, hey, we wanted to add this. It's really cool, but it's mm. going to come with its problems and please just be patient with it, give us the feedback on it, and we will fix it as best as we can. And then hopefully in time, um, it becomes a thing of the past. And that's just kind of what happens when you're in a 050 version. <laughs> yeah, cool, exactly. I think my favorite one is the um, the sort of Iron Age Celtic, um, like hill fort sort of settlement, the barbarian oh, actually, settlement. You know, I'll get on to that right now, actually. They that's, are... a, that's a great point so much more interesting than the vanilla type of settlement so much more interesting um, oh yeah it so does <laughs> yeah it's much more realistic and um much more fun and a lot less boring and predictable yeah definitely yeah really 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 uh cool so have you got plans so have you got plans for potentially other big cities like um Seleucia, antioch carthage potentially carthage is a yes. Yes, yeah. they, they've the all, I think about like the majority of the major cities that most people can kind of list off the top of their heads uh, um, uh, yeah. that were like huge in this time frame. Yeah, they all have like their own deal uh, as far as settlement plans are concerned. Um, how well they work and how in depth they are yeah. yet to be seen on a lot of these. Um, will we Will we be changing them? Probably not because we didn't create these from scratch. These were ported. So yeah, DVK is not around anymore. He's retired. Um, he's got, I can believe he's got eyesight issues. And so he's not really modding anymore. And so mm. uh, it would take somebody to join the team or who's already on the team to take the time to, um, you know, learn it and mess with it. Uh, but Swagger is the one who ported them over and i mean he did the best he can and he's gonna fix things as best as he can but um as far as like making new ones or completely overhauling them it would take somebody with uh, the patience and the skill to do that yeah cool so if anyone's out there anyone out there who knows how to mod these maps do get in touch you can join the uh the discord I believe there's a link in the description down below for the Discord if anyone wants to join the Discord today um, or when they watch this video. You can find all the updates there as well. Um, and of course the Steam page as well. There's a link down to the Steam page for when that mod uh, gets uh, released on the 30th. Uh, earned uh, Friday. So, And here's the Opida, by the way. I finally yeah. found it. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's, it's on the full screen now. You can see the sort of Iron Age um, sort of two-tier hill fort um yeah really cool so is that second gate is that second gate uh, one that you have to knock down with rams or is that just open nope no nope. So you open. just go through it and i yeah. honestly wish we could make it like a second stage. that'd be yeah. so cool but um i can only imagine the difficulties of trying to get your siege ram through yeah. the gate and up this hill and i find like that yeah. so it would take some serious effort it would either so one or two things it's either just not possible for an enjoyable experience or it would take a considerable amount of effort to make it possible but yes i would love it if uh troops could fire off of this wall and this wall yeah and if the towers of this wall could fire as well fire like as if it well, could be yeah. like a, a settlement, a settlement yeah. um that would be really cool but um very 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 a difficult undertaking i'm sure and uh if we were to ever do it like i said it would have to be somebody that joins specifically to do that uh, because the rest of us just do not have the time or knowledge to be able to do it. So, but as far as aesthetics, I think it is a massive overhaul and upgrade compared to what we had in vanilla, kind of like you yeah. said at the beginning. 
Yeah, cool. Uh, just a note, guys. The stream has slightly slowed down a little bit again, but it's uh, it's coming back, so it's fine. Should be should be okay. Um, but yeah, like you were saying on the um, on on the two tiered system. Yeah, it, it, it does look really cool. It's, it's such a cool new design. And that's going to make the AI, I'm hoping anyway, a bit smarter in defense and a lot harder to take some of these barbarian uh, barbarian settlements, I think. Um, but looking looking really cool. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. Check out the Discord for the mods down below and the Steam page, ready to click that subscribe button on Friday, or you can subscribe already and uh, get playing it just to get your practice in before the new big mod comes out. And uh, I will see you all guys on the next video.